Welcome to St. Jerome, Quebec, home of the Zen Car. Now, Zen stands for zero emission, no noise, an award-winning car manufactured right here and sold all over the world. Zen is also the kind of meditation you have to use when dealing with a bureaucracy that refuses to support this made-in-Canada car. Two day, no noise but the horn. This is the founder and CEO of Zen Cars, Ian Clifford. Hello, Ian. How are you? Good, Rick. Nice to see you. You too. Okay, I'm a pretty well-read guy. I like to think I have my finger on the pulse. I had no idea there was a Canadian car company. There is, and you're standing in the manufacturing facility. This is a well-kept secret. Yeah, and hopefully that's going to change yeah. real soon. Okay, the Zen cars, zero emissions, no noise. Yeah. Our initial vehicle is a urban core neighborhood type vehicle. Uh -huh. So instead of firing up your V8 or V6, you know, you get in your Zen car, you go shopping, you go drop the kids off at school, you go buy some beer. And you plug it in. You plug it in wherever you can plug in your cell phone. It just plugs into the wall. Right into the wall. So this is a Canadian success story. It's designed here. It's built here. Where do you sell it? In the United States. Boom! <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> they're not legal on the road here. Why? Yeah. Well, that's a very, very good question. We just, just after 18 months, got federal approval. Okay. So, so now are they going to start rolling off? We're going to start seeing them on the streets? can only sell them in British Columbia. Right. So there's only one province. Why? <laughs> well, this is because now it's up to each province to regulate the use on road. And it's very safe. I mean, this is... And i got to tell important. you, it's very weird seeing them drive around the plant here. Yeah. Because they don't make any noise. Well, imagine downtown Toronto. Same effect. Think of all the noise, the noise pollution in our cities. I'm loving it. And as, in fact, with the radio off, you can hear birds singing when you're driving down your neighbor street. It's crazy. It's crazy. Oh my God. It's crazy. <laughs> and I'm joined by the vice president of production here at Zencar, Gilles Allard. Hello, Gilles. How are you? Fine, you. Nice to see you. You know, it's so hard to wrap your head around the fact that this car is not going to have a gas tank or a muffler. No. Nothing. Nothing. Just electric oh, components. Look. And this is... This is the rear battery box that we'll install. That's the motor? That's the motor. Hello, guys. How are you? Hi. Nice to see you. Now, if this gets approved, what do you think you could sell this for in Quebec? Close to 12000 Really? Yes. That's a bargain, isn't it? Today, the price of the car, oh, yeah. And, and you use yours all the time? Yep. Sometimes when I go to the gas station and yeah. I buy cigarettes, I say, yeah. do you have any fuel? No. Look at my little car there. It's a totally... So you still go to a gas station? Yeah. Just to buy cigarettes? Milk and stuff. And You're supposed to buy those on a reserve. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you know anything? That's how it plugs in. Yep. That's Save it. money. I guess, of course. Especially if you plug it into your neighbor's house. Yep. Just run it right across the backyard. Don't get caught. Okay. I'm going to go for a test drive. Thank you. So obviously, if I drove one of these on my own personal life, this would have a lot to do with reducing my carbon imprint, right? How much? It'd be huge. It's, it's six tons a year. If six you drive an electric, tons a year. If you drive an electric car, you eliminate six tons of CO2 emissions a year. There's your Kyoto targets right there. It's right there. It's so quiet. It's weird. It's like I'm coasting. Uh, you know what I want to do? I want to make driving noises. <laughs> Remind me again, what did John Beard say the first time he took this for a test spin, the environment minister, what did he say? Uh, John hasn't been in the car. Ah, hasn't been in one. And the minister of transport? Uh, ditto. You know what you could do to get the conservatives interested in this car? Mm -hmm. Coal-fired stereo. <laughs> That's a great idea. Yeah. Does Don't it have a stereo? Yeah, absolutely. Want to hear some tunes? Yep. Yeah. I decided to put it up on the curb because I'm in Quebec. <laughs> now I'm going to start it. Just, look. Keep How it much? down. <laughs> now listen to this. It's on. Now it's off. Hello, how are you? Very good. That's a noisy shopping cart you have. <laughs> Have you seen this before? It's a Canadian car. It's built in Canada. It's manufactured in Canada, but it's illegal to buy here. And it fits under the Christmas tree. It's going. Is it going? Yeah, it's going. No. It's going now. No. There you go. <laughs> go for a spin. That's cool. So you like it? 
I love it. I love it. It's, it's bizarre. It's, it's weird, bizarre. isn't it? It's weird, but it's fun. You'll get a kick out of this. Look at this. It's like a coffee maker. <laughs> it's like a coffee maker. I think what people are going to want to know, Ian, the consumer is going to want to know before they buy this thing, can a family fit a week's worth of groceries in the trunk of this car? Absolutely. Let's put it to the test. Well, there you have it. Ian, thank you so much for the tour and the test drive. It's a pleasure. And what's Zen stand for again? Zero emission, no noise. And 20 cases of beer and a box of cereal.